Today I want to show you how to draw a Christmas bauble and this is a particularly good project if you're new to colour pencils and still working out how to blend colours. So I'll talk you through the whole process. If you'd like to watch the real time version of this it is available on my Patreon. I also include the reference photos, sketch outlines and swatches of all of the colours I'll be using. I've popped a link in the description. Alright let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is just roughly sketch out the shape of my bauble. I'm just doing this with a 5H pencil and I just want to begin by drawing a circle. This bauble is going to be one with kind of ridges on it so I also want to mark out where those ridges will go and I want to roughly mark in the shape of the top section. Now you'll notice that I'm doing this very very lightly. I don't want to be left with very prominent lines at the end of this. Now from here I want to begin adding some colour. So the key to drawing with colour pencils is to build up the colour gradually. So I'm going to begin with the lightest colour I can see within my reference, which I would say is a, a kind of grey colour. So I want to begin by putting a base layer of this all over the bauble. To begin with I'm just focusing on drawing the ball section. I want to build this colour up as smoothly as possible, so I'm working in little circular motions. I am working very lightly and I'm also making sure that I have a nice and sharp pencil. I would say this is the most intimidating part of drawing with colour pencils is putting down the first colour. So the general rule is to start with the very lightest colour. And now that I've got something to work off of, what I want to do is start marking in some of the shading and the shapes I can see within the bauble. So I'm going to carry on working through greys and I just want to begin marking out the lights and darks. I'm not too worried about making this all perfect, I just want to get a bit of an idea on what's going where. So the light in this reference is coming from the right hand side which means that in each of these sections the shadow is on the right hand side because the ridge is creating that shadow. So I just want to be lightly marking this out both with a medium grey and with a slightly darker grey. So although I'm drawing a gold bauble I am still starting with these grey colours because they're quite neutral and I can see a hint of the grey within the gold as well. The good thing about colour pencils is that you can always build up more colours on top of it and that can drastically change the colour. So you'll notice that very quickly I've ended up with something that kind of looks like a bauble but it doesn't look very realistic and there isn't a great deal of interesting colour but I do have a good template at this point already. I have left all of the strips of light in between each section as that original lightest grey colour. I can always add them a little bit later if I need to. And basically what I want to do from here is start adding in the most prominent colour that I think is missing. So to start with I want to make the bauble as a whole look a little bit more gold. So I'm going to use this kind of earthy yellow colour to just lightly go over the top of most of the bauble. I'm mostly focusing on the darker sections and lightly putting it over the top of these areas and it's changing that grey into more like gold colour. Although I am putting a little very light covering over some of the lighter sections as well just because this is such a light colour. Now notice that I'm avoiding the top right hand part of this bauble. That's because there is a reflection here that looks more like a silver. So I need to use different colours to build up this section. From here my next most prominent colour is a red. There is a red reflection particularly on the more left hand side of the bauble. So I want to start building up a little bit of this red on this side. As you can see I am still using it very lightly. This is really still just about me marking everything out and getting a bit of an idea on where everything's going. I don't want to be at any point going in at full force right now. What I want to be doing is gradually building up to the darker colours. So from here I want to be focusing my attention on this top right hand side where I said that there's this reflection and in this area I am still going to build this up with greys but I'm going to focus more on cooler greys now so that it does look like a vastly different patch. And just once again begin building up the shading. Now I am drawing all of this from a reference photo so I just really want to be focusing on what I can actually see on the reference and on the areas that are darker and I can gradually build those up. And where I'm using this darker cool grey it is starting to look quite dark now. 
With every section that I draw, I would say it makes a different section a bit more obvious on what I need to add. So for example, now that I've drawn this cool grey area on the right, it's a bit more obvious to me that I need to deepen down some of the shadows on the left hand side as well. I don't want to be using a cool grey for these shadows though, it's much warmer on this side of the bauble. So I want to be using more like a dark brown. And then doing that shows me that my red reflection isn't bright enough. So I once again want to be going over the top of that. And then from there, I want to be going back to the greys I used at the beginning, just to continue building up the shading and making everything a bit deeper. Now from here, I feel like my bauble isn't looking gold at the moment, it's looking more silvery grey. So I want to try and increase the golden appearance. So what I'm going to use here is the light umber pencil, which is kind of a light brown. This is going to be very good for going back over these shadows and making it look more golden. So I'm going to go back over these in exactly the same way that I did with the greys and it is just brightening all of this up. And then from there I also want to make the lighter areas look more golden. So I can go back to this kind of earthy yellow colour that I used quite near the start. But at this point I do want to be pressing much firmer. I'm wanting to use this as a way to blend all of these colours together. And I also want to use it so that I can cover up a lot of the white of the paper that I can see through here. So I am pressing quite firmly. I would say a medium to hard pressure. Just over the top of pretty much all of the gold area. I just want to be avoiding that cooler grey section that I've been adding to on the right. And then the last thing I'm going to do on the bauble for now is just add in a little bit of white. I'm not using this to make any areas bright white. I can just use it to blend these light strips that are going down the bauble. From here I also want to start marking in the top section now and I'm going about this in a very similar way to what I did for the rest of the bauble. So I want to begin by building up some greys and gradually work my way up through the colours, working out whilst I'm doing this what the most prominent colour is that I'm missing. So for example there's a red reflection towards the left hand side and also there is some red string along the top. And then I can keep building up these greys and also adding some of that earthy yellow once again over the top until I've built up this top section. It's literally just a case of looking at the lines and shapes I can see within this top part. So now I've drawn the whole bauble relatively roughly, it's a bit easier to see what else needs adding now that I'm looking at it as a drawing as a whole. So I once again want to deepen down some of the shadowed strips on the bottom section of the bauble. And I'm also going to use a little bit of black just on the very darkest part, so particularly around the top section, and I'm gonna use a little bit down at the bottom of the bauble. And then from here, one of the last things I'm going to do is just use a jelly roll pen to add some of the light back into particularly the top section, which is very reflective. Alright and that's it. Don't forget if you want to watch the full real time version of this it is available on my Patreon and as always if you found this video helpful give it a like and don't forget to click subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.